Praise the Lord. So um, last week I did a video about um, how narcissists target you. This week I want to talk about how to get over narcissists. The hardest thing to do after you finally got the courage to leave is the soul ties from a narcissist. It is almost impossible to quickly shift your mind and your heart from being mentally abused and controlled by them. Listen, you're not crazy for hanging in there with a person that almost destroyed you. Soul ties is hard to break, but you're not the first nor the last to go through that much pain. And you're not stupid, and it's not your fault. So, the heart wants what the heart wants. And now I understand this Jeremiah 17, verse 9, so much. The heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure, cure. Who can understand it? Only Jehovah God can understand it. He, he's the only one that can understand our heart. And that's why the, the next verse I'm going to share with you, Proverbs 4, verse 23 says, says, above all things, above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows the springs of life. So we have to be very careful who we allow to have our hearts. Because honestly, ladies, your heart should be given to God and that man's supposed to go to God for your heart. Because if he if he's not if 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 God sees that he's not worthy to have your heart, then God is not going to give him your heart. See, we we tend to mess up when we give these the give people that God didn't approve of us to give our time, our space, our energy, our hearts. We have to be very careful because there's narcissists on both sides, men and women. It's just not a male trait. It's not a female trait. It's a it's a sinful human trait. You know, so so when you finally so when you finally left, you end up confused and asking, how did this happen? You thought your relationship meant something. You thought he really loved you. You try to find reasons why he changed all of a sudden. Well, listen, sister, he didn't change all of a sudden. Narcissists are people who have formed a personality disorder, which means they're like that all the time. They didn't just change their behavior. They just couldn't pretend anymore. You know, it takes practice to be a narcissist. It takes daily practice to be a selfish individual. That's what a narcissist is. He's, he, she is very selfish. So you finally open your eyes up and you decide it's time to move on. But that's not as easy as it sounds. Some t These soul ties are very dangerous. And it just, it, I mean, these soul ties are ruthless. I know people that have been in these relationships for 10, 15 years that so badly wanted to get out of the relationship, but it's so hard to get out of these relationships. And so, and now I understand when Jesus, when the disciples couldn't, couldn't get this one demon out of, the, out of this man and, and, and they asked Jesus, why couldn't we get this demon out of them? Because Jesus Christ said, this type of demon takes fasting and prayer. So to get over a narcissist, you need to fast and pray you need to give your heart to god let god let the potter re reform your heart into the image and into the shape that he wants it to be not what man wants it to be you need to give your life back to christ you need to rededicate your life back to christ again because this soul tie this narcissist has come into your life to destroy your soul we need god to heal it we need God. We need God to heal our souls, and we need to be spiritually fixed after being in these broken relationships. You you want to help him. You you're trying to be understanding and compassionate for him, but this only works for this type of individual. It only works for them for a short period of time before narcissists end up being back to the individual. I know, ladies, you you forget you've forgiven a man, and it lasts, and it seems wonderful for. A couple of weeks and then all of a sudden, or maybe a couple of months, it could even be a year. And all of a sudden, this person is back to the person they in because it's hard to pretend something that you're not for so long. So you keep giving them chances because you believe he will change. You feel because he gives you a sob story about his life, you feel sorry for him and it's not his fault. It is his fault. Listen, what he went through in your life is not your fault. You know, so don't let him put that type of burden on you. He needs to be a man and seek help if he needs to seek help or she needs to seek help. 
but that burden is not your burden. It's not your burden to bear. You feel you, you, you know, so wake up, listen, wake up. He needs help. No, he needs help. Not a relationship to use as a punching bag. So let, let me, let me, let me tell you some small steps to how to get over your narcissist. I just went around the bar in the back, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you some small steps. Except he's a narcissist. Number one, except he's a narcissist. He's a narcissist. Call it what it is. Sick of these folks making excuses for these abusers. Face it. The whole time you was with him, it was one big lie. Because he's a lie. Everything he has ever said to you was a lie and done. At There was no honesty. How do I know this? Because you, when you love somebody, you don't hurt them and abuse them. So it was a lie. Number two, set boundaries. Stop all communication. They have they have a way of, of of saying things that they know that you like to hear to make you feel bad to get them to come back. Get yourself out of that environment that's making you feel bad. Get rid of everything that he brought you, everything that reminds you of him. Um, things that think these things are soul ties. Gifts, they're soul ties. But most important boundary you can set is how do you, how to say no. Say no to him. Anytime he wants to hook up, no. Anytime he wants to talk, no. You have to reject the things that he offers. No. That's the best word you can do. Number three, get mentally healthier. Narcissists drain you mentally. Their behavior can destroy a person, especially if if they have uh especially if you have a big loving heart. Get get around good vibes, good people. The 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 mind the the mind is a uh, is a, a miraculous thing and it's very fragile. So you have to be careful who you let play with your mind. You have to nurture it, be kind to it, and it will soon get back to where where it was before this talk before those toxic behaviors came in your mind. Um, number four, do not try to get closer. Forget about it. There's no point trying to understand why this happened. Trying to make things figure out and put pieces how they work uh don't try to comprehend it they have the they have the most uh, the emotion the, the narcissists or have have the have the emotional mentality of a 2 year old you can't worry about them let it go number 5 forgive yourself and the narcissist accept the truth you've been lied to manipulated and tricked not forgiving is like walking in front of a bus hoping that it will hurt the other person but the only person that hurts is you. Studies have found that an act of forgiveness can reap huge benefits on your health, lowering the risk of heart heart attack, improving cholesterol cholesterol levels, and your sleep, and reducing pain and blood pressure, and level of anxiety, depression, and stress. And Matthew six verse fourteen through five says, God stands ready and willing to forgive us, but but acts that we extend the same forgiveness to one another first forgive him um, if you have a re resentment or bitterness in your heart it's time to give it over to god let him heal you and give you the ability to forgive our eternity our eternity depends on this the bible is clear when we harbor bitter um, bitterness it's a sin the bible is clear on that so listen don't allow that person to make you think you did something wrong because you woke up and you got tired of being their punching bag. You got tired of being second best. You got tired of getting taken off the shelf only when they wanted to play with you and punch you when they wanted to punch you. No, you're a queen. Queens don't get treated like that. Queens, have, they demand respect. And you should respect the queen. So this is how you can get over a narcissist and listen when god shut that door listen sister don't you open that door back have a good one